Hey guys, what's going on? Today, on the channel, we're gonna talk about drums. We're gonna talk about muscles. We're gonna talk about a little bit of this. And fancy headphones. Now, before we get started, I just got back from doing bench press and I'm really excited about sitting here twirling my sticks. The key element to spinning dude, your sticks. I was trying to talk about something. Get up, dude, I gotta film a video already now. <laughs> I'm doing it for you. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back for another video. I am especially pumped for today's video. I know I say that at the beginning of most of my videos, but today I'm excited because a pair of custom in-ears from Me Audio, M-E-E -E Audio, has arrived. And we're gonna be unboxing and checking it out. First half of the video, unbox. Second half will be after filming my next cover and I will talk in length about what I experienced when I actually put these guys to the test behind the kit. So let's get into unboxing these guys. I've got three packages here in front of me. The first pack is this guy. I believe the buds are in here along with like the drivers of course and I think this comes with two separate cables. We'll get in and find out here in a sec but I think one of them actually has a microphone on it. This sort of smaller box that I got here is uh, I think inside of this is my actual molds. So I will put those on the drivers once we unbox the drivers out of that first box. And then this cool little certificate it's just like a piece of cardboard. It's got in the back here this little tiny slip right there and I think in that guy um, if I'm not mistaken and yes, these are actually custom driver plates. So on the drivers themselves, there's a slot where I'm going to insert those custom plates and I had engraved on these. On one ear, I actually got this skull. So I contacted Sebastian at Chronic Inc. You guys know from my tattoo tour video, if you wanna check out that video, there's a link in the description below. And, uh, and I asked him to send me this as sort of like a background list PNG, sent the file over and I sent it to me audio and they said that this would fit pretty well in, uh, in the actual driver plate. So one of the ears, has that and then the other ear has my signature so let's get started let's check these out okay that's cool it comes with a little case little hard case let's open this up see what's inside okay there we go so you can see there we've got one cable in here and it looks like there's a second cable in that box there the cable connector just a stereo eighth of inch let's first check out what's in these little bags i think these are just uh replacement buds yeah these are just default buds and we've got a whole pile of uh of other rubber buds and then i'm upgrading from the sure 315s and the Sure 315s case isn't as nice as this. I can see that right off the bat. So in this little uh, dime bag here, we have a very standard female eighth of inch stereo to a male quarter inch stereo adapter. I like the way that they have the actual buds sort of stuck in here. The driver plates right now, they're not inserted. I can see where we will be putting those on. Uh, the actual plastic around the componentry inside around the drivers is translucent and looks really nice. Okay, so one of the buds actually popped off when I pulled it out, but that's okay because we're gonna be pulling those off anyways to put on my custom molds. So I'll just pull those off now beforehand. So we'll put this aside for the moment. And then this guy, we have a second cable. So let's check out that. Okay, so basically the exact same cable we've already seen, except, yeah, same braiding and everything. This one has three bands on it though, so we have, of course, a stereo connector, and then the third one is gonna be for the mic, so there's actually a microphone. I don't know if there's volume control, let's see if this presses. No, there's no volume control on it, but it is a microphone. The next box here, like I mentioned, this guy, I'm assuming is the um, molds themselves, so let's check this out. So there are the molds. I got them in red. There's definitely a few color options you can pick from. Uh, looking real close there, you can see, I guess there's the Me Audio logo on each mold and they are labeled. Let's take them out of the bag. They are labeled. There's an R and L for right and left. So this guy is the right ear. That's what the inside of my ear looks like in case you were wondering. <laughs> Oh, this one's stubborn. There's the second guy there. So now we have a different color logo, which is cool. I can glance real quick and see left or right. I think that the actual drivers too might have colors on them. A lot of in-ears will have red on the right and then blue on the left. Okay, there's no colors on this, but there again is on the actual driver and the cable there is an R and L to label right and left. So let's take out the, uh, the cable here and put this on. So there we go, that's the main cable. This is the cable I'll probably be using most of the time. When I'm traveling, if I'm on a train, if I'm you know, going somewhere and I wanna be doing uh, calls, you know, FaceTime, Discord, whatever, I will definitely make use of that other cable. I do use right now my in-ears on the go all the time. So this is gonna be great for when I wanna make phone calls with these. Inside the little box that came with the molds, we have a cleaning brush. 
some kind of solution, easy wear gel. All right, so the last box we're gonna need to open up is not a box, it's that little, this guy right here. So here are the actual custom engraved plates. Let's take these off, take a look. So that's what the plates look like. You can see there, I got the skull from the inside of my bicep on the right here, and then there's my signature on the left. I have to say, this is definitely a fairly pleasant unboxing experience. I really like the way that they've managed to package all this. Especially these guys, it's cool because as you opened up this sleeve, you can see the plates, you can see the designs, and then you cut the tape on the sides and it slips out. So there we go. Let's see how easy these will slide out, hopefully. Maybe we just open like that. Nope, what do I do here? I pull this back maybe? So there's the first one. Okay, let's put the next one on. There we go, so take a look at that. That's the actual right and left with the plates on them. Uh, the left side there, wait, let's switch this around. Let's make sure I'm looking at the right ones. Um, so this is the left here, so I've got them in the wrong hands. Switch this, there we go. So that's right and left there. Here's the left, here's right kind of thing. Okay, so that's what it actually looks like in my ears with the molds on, that's what the face plate looks like on it. Okay, here's the left side. So the first half of this video I filmed on Sunday. Then yesterday, which was Monday, as a lot of you guys know by now, I filmed, edited, and posted Low by Wage War, my latest cover. Now today, Tuesday, I'm gonna film the second half of this unboxing video. The reason why I broke it up into sort of two sessions and put a drum cover right in the middle is so that I could unbox it Sunday, then I could use them on Monday and get a sense for how they hold up in a mock performance setting like when I do film my covers. And now today, Tuesday, I'm coming back to revisit the product, talk about what I experienced yesterday in that filming and give it a little bit of a review. So overall, my impression is very good of these in-ears. I really, really enjoyed them and I'm super stoked that I have them and can use them for my covers going forward. The first thing I'll talk about is the sound. Overall, the sound quality was on par with every other in-ear that I've used, if not a bit better. It was especially good when it came to low end. I am a drummer, I need lots of bass guitar, lots of rhythm guitar, and lots of kick, maybe even a little bit of tom thrown into my ears while I'm on stage or while I'm doing a cover. And I need a pair of in-ears that can drive all of those lower frequencies into my ears comfortably and not distort the Mix. I found that these in-ears were really, really exceptional. So much so that I actually went into the uh, EQ, the EQ curve on my DAW and my digital mixer that I use to monitor while I'm playing the actual covers. And I cut off most of the frequencies below 200 Hertz. I found that having just a flat EQ was unbearable how much bass was being pushed into my ear canal, which is definitely not a complaint. I really, really love that about these so far. So yeah, overall, very, very happy with the sound clarity, with the quality, with the frequencies, it doesn't seem to color the mix too, too much, except for in the low end, which I'm totally happy with. The next thing I'll mention about them is the comfort overall. They're extremely comfortable. Of course, this goes hand in hand with any sort of custom fit because they are molded to my actual ear canal. So they fit perfectly. Wearing them, it's like there's nothing even in there. The cable is thinner and it has a clip on it that allows you to attach it to your clothing. So in clips like this, when I'm headbanging and going as hard as I was in that video yesterday, there was no issue with the cable being yanked out of my wireless pack with the actual drivers being pulled out of my earlobes or with the cable sort of tugging my head backwards. And I really like that because those problems are something that has sort of haunted me with the other brands that I have used over the years. I came directly off of the Shure 315s and they have a heavier cable with no sort of way of clipping that to any of your clothing or your shirt or anything like that. Because of that, there's been many, many times where I underestimated how much slack I had on that cable, threw my head forward during a breakdown and I pulled the cable right out of the wireless pack or I pulled the actual drivers out of my earlobes and that's something you don't want to ever happen live that's pretty much worst case scenario if you're a band playing to a backtrack relying on the drummer so yeah overall very comfortable the build quality and durability on these guys measured up very well in comparison to the sure 215s and 315s I have on hand here I don't have any of the older brands that I've used over the years just having used so many different types of headphones and so many audio products I am very satisfied with the build quality on these guys and last thing I'll talk about the most important part when it comes to these guys I am astonished 
coupon-ish with how cheap they are. I think this is definitely one of the better price to value ratios on the market in the inner space. I've looked at the price of these and then the price of some of the other competitors that I've used over the years, like those Shure 315s or the 215s. And I think that these are for sure a much better value. And lastly, as one little bonus, I'm really, really impressed with the fact that they included two cables in the box. That was super awesome to see. Over the years, as I wear out my inners, I'm replacing the cables most commonly. Replacement cables aren't too, too expensive depending on the brand you're purchasing from. From Shure, I think it's been like 20 bucks every time I needed a new cable, which is no big deal at all. But the very fact that they sort of anticipated ahead for the musician's needs and included that second cable is really, really awesome to see. So in prepping for this video, I reached out to me and I let them know that I was going to do this video and they hit me back with a promo code that I can give to you guys. You can use to get 10% off a purchase from them if you're looking to get some ears of your own. The promo code is on the screen for you now. There is links to their website and that promo code is also listed in the description with the links. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys very soon with something new.